Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, welcome. Thank you very much, very much to uh, Traders Talk Live for hosting this. Um, anytime I get to uh, sit in front of a, a group of people, serious traders, here we are on a Monday, um, it, uh, it makes my day because uh, I, I can share uh, some ideas with you uh, with like-minded traders. So uh, again, I really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, give me one second here. My, uh, my slideshows are... Okay, well, here we go. Sorry about that. All right, so we are up. All right, so um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, again, uh, my name's Dave Aquino. I am with uh, Basecamp Trading. Now, we've been doing this for a number of years, uh, teaching and training and mentoring and coaching traders. And uh, I want to share with you some ideas about uh, trading for income. I know a lot of you um, uh, try to, to go out into the markets, find a good trade, uh, and, and, and uh, get as much out of it as you can. But a lot of uh, traders that come to us, they get tired of chasing stocks. You know, They're always hunting and searching, hunting and searching. And every once in a while, you'll find a good one. But majority of the time, you get these false signals, and you can't consistently win. So uh, what we do is, um, and in this uh, webinar, going to share with you some uh, ideas about creating an income stream by trading options on a regular basis. Again, we like to think of it as consistent winners that allow you to grow your trading. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Thank you. A couple of risk disclaimers there for you. Again, my name is Dave. Uh, I'm a partner and head of options trading at BasecampTrading.com. Uh, I graduated from Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee back in uh, 1995. Seems like it was just a couple of years ago, but 1995. Um, I have uh, 23 years real world experience in the markets as a as a stockbroker, as an investment advisor, and as a trader, and uh, now a trading instructor and coach. Uh, I was with uh, Merrill Lynch at the age of 23. I worked there for four years and really got to know how the markets work. Um, after that, I joined the Vanguard Group, probably know our, our mutual funds, but I was actually in the asset management group, the ultra client group. This is where uh, me and a couple of others managed uh, the portfolios of some really wealthy um, client households. Uh, we managed about uh, $650 million dollars. Um, and we did that uh, for, I did that for over 12 years. I was the uh, derivatives portfolio manager. So long short of it is we have clients come in, they have highly appreciated stocks. You know, this is like grandpa's GE stock from, you know, when it was founded and they never wanted to sell it. So what did we have to do in order to support their lifestyle? We had to create an income stream, and that's what I did with options for these really, really wealthy clients. Um, I transitioned over to BasecampTrading.com and have been here over six years. BasecampTrading.com, we have real-world experience uh, working with hedge fund advisors and professional money managers and um, developing indicators and strategies. Uh, I've been working uh, with individual uh, traders as an instructor, a mentor, and uh, a coach for over six years now. Um, so you know, the first question always comes to, to mind when someone starts working with us as a coaching client or a, um, a student of ours, what separates professional traders from everybody else? Now, I'm not talking necessarily about a hedge fund trader or someone that does this for an institution, but really I consider a professional trader kind of like you guys. Maybe you're, all you're in charge of is your own personal funds. You're not out there managing money for somebody else, but you still take a very serious approach to it. You're responsible for yourself. Maybe you're responsible for your family's um, income. Uh, maybe you're retired. Maybe you're uh, a business owner that's looking to sell a company, or uh, maybe you're a professional who's accumulated assets, but now you're, you're tired and want to retire. Now you want to say, how do I do this on my own? And maybe you're just an individual that says, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of the rat race. I want to learn how to trade so I can um, create my own personal prosperity. 
So what we uh, find is that when you take on that mindset of a professional trader, um, there are certain points that are very important. First of all, you want to maximize your profits. Now, most traders that are just starting out are still making some mistakes. Uh, most traders are leaving money on the table. They don't know how to maximize the profits in the trades that they take. A lot of times we see that they, they enter late into trades. Maybe you take your profits early because you're afraid the markets are going to take it back. Um, uh, some, I mean, that hesitation uh, is always caused by fear okay, or loss. Um, they, uh, m most uh, traders still in development lack confidence in their approach, okay? A lot of times you have uncertainty. Is this the right trade for this particular situation? I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should be taking the opposite side of this thing. Uh, fear is constantly your trading partner. Uh, you might see the setup, the trade that you want to take, but now again, you're afraid. You, you cannot, you don't have confidence in yourself as a trader and or the trade that you're about to take. And then when it starts to really move, then you jump in late and now you try to play catch up, which usually doesn't work. And then consistency and gains. Can you think about your last month of trading? How did you do? Was it consistent with what you did the month before? Or how about this entire 2018? Do you have consistent gains in your trading week after week, month after month? 90% of the traders that come to us don't have those, those types of strategies. So what they try to do is they come in, they wanna learn a trading technique, kind of like what you're doing today. A lot of them come to learn that strategy, but stay because of our approach to trading and they stay with us and learn a whole lot more. All right, so those of you that trade for a living, and I imagine you're here because you know, you're know you not at a nine to five job. So why is trading for a living so hard? Okay, well, a lot of it has to do with three main things. And the first thing is, are the markets. Um, a lot of times traders find success um, when they first start out, and they luckily stumble into a bull market. Uh, they go in, they go long, they buy the hot stock, it goes up, and they feel like uh, they can do this, uh, that uh, things are going well, I can become a trader, and they start plotting out you know, how long it would take for them to make a million dollars. Then you have some people that come in during bear markets, and, and they, they get beaten up very quickly because they're not used to going short. They're not used to the volatility in the bear market. And it's and it's very difficult. Eventually, if you come in in a bull market, you will eventually hit some some bearish spots. So you're it's not clear sailing for you either. Now, the third type of market, a lot of people don't talk about this one. This is the sideways market. This is the choppy market. This is the market you've been experiencing since um, January 31st, okay? This is where um, the trade setups that you normally take don't behave the way they're supposed to. You're buffeted by news and economic events and earnings, and you chop sideways. So no matter which way you go, bullish or bearish, you have a tendency to get beaten up. So that's the first uh, situation that makes trading for a uh, living difficult. The second is timing. Do you know right now how you're going to trade uh, for the next couple of weeks? Are you going to swing trade? Do you day trade or intraday trade? That's what I like to call it, intraday trading. Um, do you try to position trade and try to hold it for a couple of months? Or if you trade options, um, you know, do you buy calls? Uh, do you buy long options, calls and puts? Uh, do you sell premium? Uh, what do you do? All these things that make it difficult because there's so many choices and you don't know which choice is right for which time. And then third, uh, this is trade execution. What are your two most profitable trades? Do you know? If I said, look, I'm going to give you $10,000 in a month, I want you to take 10 successful trades. And let's see how many, uh, 10 trades and how many of those trades will be successful. 
what trade would you execute? If you only had 10, what would you do? If you don't know, and, and if the answer is, well, let me see what the market looks like and then I'll tell you. That's, gonna, that's another reason why trading for a living is difficult because um, you allow the markets to dictate what you do uh, as opposed to having a consistent trade that you normally execute. And in and of itself, trading is difficult. You have to get the entry right. You have to get the exit right. You have to have the trade management in the middle. You have to understand your stop losses. So all those things, um, if, if you don't do them right, you, don't, you stand very little chance for success. And that's what trading, in the end, uh, is a hit or miss prospect for most people. So let me step back for a minute and talk about what I consider an income trading system. Okay. All right. An income trading system is um, what I consider is a lifetime income trading system can serve as a foundation for all your trading. Okay. It serves as a baseline level of profits that you can use on a monthly income. It relieves your pressure to perform and hit home run trades. How many of you right now, since it's the end of the month, the last week of April, are you ahead for the month or are you behind for the month? Do you have trading goals? Do you, how, how close are you to hitting that trading goal? Now, raise your hand and, and type yes if you've exceeded the uh, your expectation for this month and have hit your return goal. Okay. See, I, I don't I don't see anybody typing uh, in a response, and that don't worry, that's normal. Okay. A lot of times when traders approach the market, they say, "Well, let me just look out the door and see what we see. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll see a trade." Okay. The key of an, to an income trading system, it has to be consistently repeatable. It has to be high probability, and it has to generate dependable profits. If I gave you those three things in a strategy, would, you, would, would that give you an advantage in the markets? Okay. The other thing is the income trading system can't be hit or miss, something that just came up uh, last week. You know, It's a brand new idea. It has to be proven in many markets, okay? It has to work in both bullish markets, bearish markets, and sideways markets because, uh, you know, this is it's designed to last an entire lifetime, okay? Okay, the, the, it serves as a foundation to your trading because you must be able to depend on it in a reliable way to make consistent money. Sue, you have to have an idea how much you can generate on a regular basis. And three, it should be the smallest relative risk and the highest probability trades that you take. Because I want you to think about it like this. If you are retired, if you are doing this as a business to generate revenue for yourself and your family, okay, how many times do you pay uh, your mortgage every month? You pay the same amount on the same day every month. You have to eat on a regular basis. You have to put gas in your car on a regular basis. Okay? You, you have a budget. When you go to work every day, uh, you know, if you were employed, you knew how much you were going to make a week. Can you do that with your trading? Okay? That's what I'm trying to, to say the income trading system can do for you. The fact is this trade or this type of trading system has to be the highest confidence trading system you do because your ability to take care of yourself, pay for your home, pay for your food, pay for your cars, it all depends on this consistency, okay? The, our income trading system is based on selling premium or selling option credit spreads. And what we're doing is taking advantage of high probability theta decay. I don't know how experienced you are in option trading, but options uh, on stocks and stock indices are uh, decaying assets. And it is something that we do. We, we sell those 
those strategies, we go short. So that over time, that asset that we sold depreciates and we get to keep all the profits, okay? These trades generate consistently, the way we structure our income trading, generate four to 6% profits per trade. Now you'll probably hear about some returns that some of traders will show you. Hey, we made 30%, hey, we made 50%, hey, we made 120%, that's great. We do that on uh, other strategies too. But this is different. This is something you have to depend on on a regular basis. So that four to six percent per trade, well, we do three to five of these trades per week, okay? And over the past three and a half years, we've done 670 trades. We average 94.1% winners, okay? That's an awful lot of trades. Okay, the cool thing is we can teach our traders this system. And at Basecamp Trading in my trading room, uh, this is a, it's a trade setup that we consistently do week after week after week for over three plus years. Okay, we, we teach uh, a step-by-step -step trading method and we, over time, you master what works. Those of you that play a sport, you play golf, you play tennis, you play anything that you have repetitive motion. When you go out on the golf course and you're about to hit a ball off the tee, okay, do you change the swing every single time? No. You, you go to a coach, they teach you the right way to swing, you know, and you do it consistently again and again and again. Over time, you're going to master that golf swing or that tennis forehand uh, or that uh, swimming stroke, okay? So by repetition, you're going to become better and better and better at it, and you're going to master a technique that works. It's the exact same thing with this income trading system. And, you know, if you're doing 200 trades a year, I think you're going to be very good at it, okay? So let me talk about our income trading system. It is called 11-hour options, okay? 11-hour options I created over almost four years ago now. It is a proven, consistent, profitable way of trading options. Primarily, I created because um, we were doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that in our trading room, all, all different kinds of trades uh, based on what people were interested. Well, um, a couple of traders approached me one day, said, Dave, that, that's great. And uh, I know we do credit spreads on a regular basis. We seem to be doing well with them. Can we put them together and, and do it on a regular basis? So we came up with this 11-hour option strategy. And uh, three and a half years later, it's, it's still extremely consistent, okay? It is a credit spread strategy system. And again, we we do these trades several times a week. Now, think back over the past three and a half years, okay? How many different kind of market environments have we had to weather, okay? Um, just in the past two years, you've had a crazy election. In the whole, gosh, I think the whole period run up to the election. And then you've had bullish markets, you've had scares, you've had North Korea, you've had China, You've had uh, the craziness in the, uh, the price of oil, okay? All those different markets, this strategy has prospered. It's gone through different calendar seasons because you know trading in the middle of summer is different than trading here at the beginning of the year, okay? And then what does it look like around Christmas? It's different it, it, at the end of the year. So all those different environments, this strategy has prospered. Again, consistency. I, I think this is the most important aspect of the strategy is that in the whole time that we've been doing it uh, in our trading rooms, we've got a 94.1% win rate. And then those profits from those consistent returns have produced over a 5.2% gain per trade. Okay. Now, those of you that know how to do the calculator functions, you can sit there and, and do that math. Uh, over time, it can produce tremendous, tremendous gains. 
okay? Again, it's a high probability credit spread trade setup. Our initial goal was actually 85%, and then I bumped it up to 90%. Now we've been pushing 94%, okay? We actually have an overnight trading focus. When we originally designed the strategy, we would be processing the trades around noon on Thursday, and the trades would naturally close on Friday. Now we can actually implement this now on a Tuesday to Wednesday basis also. We're always looking consistently at the hourly chart, okay? So when we look at that chart, we can make a determination. We can go through our step-by-step -step checklist in which we evaluate price momentum and support and resistance levels. And by doing so, select the best trade for that particular chart. And the trading goal is to allow time to pass and income can be generated in the overnight theta decay. On average, we're doing 5.21%. Okay, why is, why is selling credit spreads different? How many here have ever sold a credit spread? A couple of you, yeah? Okay, well credit spreads require uh, us to look at the charts from a different point of view. And I'll show you a chart here in a second. Because what we're trying to do is focus on selling our credit spreads, our short strikes, away from the projected price direction. So it's kind of like that game um, in which you were, when you were younger, if, if you're playing hide and seek and you see the guy that's looking for you um, run to the left, what do you do? How you, you sneak away and you try to run to the right. You run in the opposite direction the uh, in this case where the market is going and what do you the what you need to mentally think of is I'm going to sell this credit spread where I think the market is not going to be at expiration and this is the idea behind credit spread selling and the 11 hour option strategy and we teach you how to do it very very well so let me show you this this is the S&P 500 index this is the, um, the cash settled index. We use this all the time. I have some traders, they only trade uh, 11 hour options on the stock index and they do a wonderful job. So price comes down and it makes a pivot low here, starts to accelerate up. We double check the momentum profile here at the bottom. So as things start to move up, what do we do? We can, if we see price going up, we will sell the credit spread down here. So as price, as time passes, price stays away from our credit spread and we get to keep all of that. It's, it's, a, it's basically a gigantic game of keep away, okay? Later on in the week, you know, we see the price in SPX is in a channel and then what happens? We break the top part of this channel because you can see it's right there, right? There's the channel, it breaks higher, we double check momentum. Yes, it's breaking higher. Guess what? We'll sell a credit spread down here. Okay. And then we come up, we make a double top. Bearish divergence. You see that for the momentum? Momentum starts to drop here. Guess what? We'll sell the credit spread up here. Price goes down. And then same thing, channel, channel. Price breaks here. Sell a credit spread up here. See, everybody see the pattern? And then here, hit another channel. As soon as we start to break down here, you see momentum's going down. Sorry, momentum is going down here. Sell another credit spread here. See why that works? Because what we will do is we look in the opposite direction. Whereas most people will take the trade when we get the breakout or the reversal, with the direction of the market, like in this case, you know, you will um, you'll buy puts when buy calls when it starts to break higher, sell sell uh, buy put. I'm sorry, buy calls when it starts to break higher, buy puts when it starts to break lower, and take advantage of that directional movement. That's fine. We do that sometimes in conjunction with our credit spread selling, but to generate the consistent returns that we want, to minimize the risk as much as possible. This is what we do. And this is an extremely high probability strategy, just consistently following it along. 
okay? Again, our focus is staying away, selling away uh, our credit spreads. So therefore, um, you think about it like this. If, if, um, if the market goes up, we sell down here. Why? Because it's really hard for the market to pivot, turn, go in the opposite direction, and usually we have a, a support and resistance level, and it has to break through each support and resistance level to get to our short strike. And it has to do it in about 11 hours. If it can't do in 11 hours, I don't care if it gets stuck on the first or second level of support coming at us. Uh, the, the options run out of time. We get to keep all the money. Okay. All right. So again, the strategy summary is profits come from theta decay. The passage of time works in your favor. I can't stress how important that is because in trading, that's pretty much the only thing you're 100% sure of that as, as time passes, it works in your favor. The goal is consistency. Win as often as possible, 94.1%. And then profit goal is to balance your reward and risk. Now, a lot of traders will always focus on, hey, look at all the leverage you can get with these options. Wow, you can make 30%, 50%, 70%, 110% .10 on your money. Well, you always have to understand that reward that you're seeking is always balanced by risk. Options are naturally designed to be priced based on the amount of risk that you're taking. There are many, many times in 11 hour options where instead of going for a four or five or 6% gain, we could step in there and go for an eight or a 10 or a 12 or a 15% gain we choose on purpose not to do it. We will sell a credit spread further away from the price to look for our four to five to 6%. We don't want more gain because we don't want the risk of this trade going against us. We would much rather win or, or, or be removed from a broken trade with zero loss than worry about a 20% gain. That's not our goal. Uh, a lot of times traders will tell me, hey, Dave, look, I got a 15% gain on that credit spread. I'm not going to pat them on the back, tell them they did a good job. I said, you could have taken a better trade had you sold the credit spread further away and therefore reduce your risk. Okay? If anything, I want you to understand that. And then uh, I know someone also mentioned it in the questions. They said, when credit spreads go against you, they could be a, quite a big pain. And that is absolutely true. Because in this strategy, you have to have superior risk control. The very first thing to keep in mind are conservative stop loss rules. So let me just visual, let you visualize this. At a 94% win rate, okay, like about 95 and you're making progress towards that mountain, that goal in the, in the, in the distant uh, future to your, your, however you want to retire, you want to amass a million dollars. So you see it in the, in the distance. And I say, start walking. You take, I said, well, how many steps? I want you to take 19 steps. Or wait, most of you trade this way. Two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, three steps back. Two steps forward, one step back. Do you like that kind of progress? That's how most traders trade. Now, I want you to close your eyes and visualize your journey. I want you to take 19 steps forward. And then I want you to take eh, kind of a medium step back, maybe equal to two or three of your normal steps. Still made pretty good progress, didn't you? And then I say, okay, 19 more steps forward. 19 steps forward. And then take, take a, a medium step back, maybe about two steps. Okay? And then take 19 steps forward. And then just stand there. Okay? Yeah, okay, good. Your time's passed. 
19 steps forward. How, how does that progress feel compared to what you were doing before? That's what you have to envision an income trading system giving you, that you make slow, steady, consistent progress. I, I don't even want to use the word slow, because if you're taking uh, three to five of these trades a week, it's actually pretty fast. So you're making that consistent progress. Not only when you look around and you see how, how far you've gone, but you're amazed at how smoothly the journey has been. You don't fear taking that next step because it's not, most likely it's going to be one of success, right? So here are some bottom line results. Okay, so that you can uh, actually see how uh, some of our traders have been trading. Now, back in October, uh, Basecamp Trading held a live in-person boot camp in Dallas, Texas. So we invited like 25 uh, of our of our, our longer term traders. A couple of them were new. Some were from Australia. Someone was from England. Uh, a couple from Canada, and then everybody else from the United States. Uh, this gentleman, his name is Jim. Uh, he's from Tyler, Texas. He'd been trading with us for over a year. Jim knows what he's doing. He's a CPA, but he's new to the idea of options trading. He still does taxes part-time, but he's kind of semi-retired. So Jim uh, had been in a couple of uh, workshops with me. He said, Dave, I'm really interested in this 11-hour options uh, program. Uh, I, I think I'm ready to do it and commit to doing it. And like I said, Jim does this just in SPX. Okay. Again, past October, again, just in SPX. And he said that he was going to be very disciplined and have that balance reward and risk and utilize good stop loss levels like we teach in the 11 hour options program. Here are his results in the months of November December, January, and February. You know how many losses Jim had? Zero. Zero losses. This is Jim's um, statement from the month of November. Okay. Here's his statement from the month of December. He said he went on a trip, so he didn't trade as much. Here is January, 38.3%. And this is February, 24.7%. Again, consistent winning is what you are looking to generate. Now, let me show you some other results. And let me, okay, wait, basically, because I have to call up, because usually I, I, I put out a PDF for everybody. So I'm going to show it to you, but let me just ask you a couple of quick questions. You know, have you, by sitting there today, um, kind of gotten some idea of the importance of maximizing your profitability? Do you understand um, how reward and risk works? Um, have you seen and visualized the uh, importance of consistency in your trading? You know, this uh, two steps forward, one step back shuffle is never going to get you to your trading goals. Okay, you have to be a consistent trader in order to stand a chance in this market. And you have to, you have to use a strategy that is proven to work and grow confidence. Now, I'll tell you, I've been coaching traders for over six years. I'll tell you, profitability is very, very nice. Okay, that they can see their account growing. That's very important. Consistency. Nobody likes to go to work every day, get beaten up, come home with losses, right? Nobody likes that feeling, okay? But it does happen in the markets. So those first two points are extremely important. But I'll tell you, the most successful traders, the ones that experience the most profound growth, come from the ones that show that their trading has given them increased confidence in themselves, in their trading, and their ability to generate the kind of gains that they need. Most people are not greedy. 
They don't want to go, hey, you know what? I want to generate $20,000 today and go buy a new truck. They don't want to do that. They want to say, hey, you know what? I hope we uh, have some consistent gains this week. Close out the month strong. I can show my wife that I'm not wasting my time, that I can do this. That is the biggest change in traders, okay? The ones that grow confident in their technique, in their abilities, and their consistency in their trading, okay? That they enjoy trading. They don't go in there with trepidation, all right? So the 11-hour options workshop is an on-demand workshop that is available now. It's going to teach you how to make a full-time weekly profit by being in the markets only part of the time. Remember, I, I only, you're only in the markets for 11 hours per trade, okay? It is a consistent, highly profitable income trading system that can run in just a couple of days a week. And I'm going to give you the detailed step-by-step -step method for selecting the best strike prices for your credit spreads. Also, I'm going to give you a superior risk control method that can foster that long-term profitability. The cool thing is the 11-hour options is an easy-to-understand trade that runs profitably 52 weeks a year. Okay? So let me show you some of the results, okay? I, I, I've described the system. I've shown you the results. I've shown you the results, and some of our traders have had. This is the actual – these are the actual numbers, okay? So right here, and this is from October – first through March the 23rd. And here is October 2017. These are the actual trades that we took. Now, this particular trade is interesting because you'll always say, Dave, that's, that's a loss. There's like $6,800. This is a strategy that when the trade goes against us, we use a, what we call a delta neutral overweight strategy and we pair this thing up. If you don't know that strategy, because it's a little advanced strategy, you would have taken a, a three times loss, okay? But instead, I mean, this is a more advanced strategy. I have to show it to you because this, this, this is the proofs in the pudding. We offset that $6,800.20 loss with a gain of $7,250. So that nets out how much? Uh, 300, 400 plus dollars. So you take both of those together, we walk away with it with $400. We were trying to get 900, we walk away with 400. So I still count that as a loss, okay? Even though we are positive on the trade. So here in October, we took 16 trades. We have that one delta neutral overweight loss, so to speak. Here is November, 2017. We took 13 trades. These last three especially, $1,200, $500, and $400 profits. These are my Black Friday trades. I usually double the size of these trades and I can generate uh, even more revenue. That's a lot of fun. 11 hour option trades on Black Friday usually run about eight hours. <laughs> and everybody's shopping online or they're not working. So early close on, on Black Friday. So those are very successful. Here in December, we took 16 trades all winners. Here is January. This is January, a little bumpy. We took two trades. This one, uh, we were trying to get 250. We, we took a $770 loss. Here uh, in Google, uh, we took a we we're trying to get 200. We took a uh, $240 loss. This is what I call a 3x loss, and this is a 1x loss. Usually, if you take a, a loss to get stopped out, you get either a 2x or a 3x. But this is what this looks like. Now, you're like, wow, that's a lot of loss. Yeah, that happens in trading. And you have to take, you have to structure things the right way so that you can weather that over time. So if you look at January, those are a couple of losses. They did show up but it's definitely offset by the consistency of the gains. So you had 16 out of 18 winners. Here in February, you had 14 winners. And then through the month of March, you had, uh, and, and that February, that's 100, uh, we were 14 out of 14. And in March, on this, on this uh, chart, uh, we had 15 out of 15. 
okay? 15 out of 15 winners is not bad. Now, you might say, well, Dave, you know, how consistent is that in, in trading? Well, let's look at a chart just really quickly. Here's my trade station. And when did we say we started? October, okay? October, pretty easy, right? Straightforward, bullish market, kind of easy to make money. Here's December, bullish market. And here's January. That's, you see right there? That's, I think that's the dip right there where we, we, uh, we took that loss in, um, in, in, in January. And then here you go, all the way through the end of January. Now remember, I just showed you what we did in February and what we did in March, okay? Now, how about this? Here's, here's February, here is March, here is April. If that's not a volatile stretch, look at it compared to October, November, December. Here is Jan uh, February and March and into April. Guys, I actually did better in February and March in all that crazy volatility. I did not take a loss the entire time, okay? That's over almost 30 trades. And now you say, well, that's March 23rd, okay? This is the actual spreadsheet that we use. See the March 23rd trades right here, these bottom three, SPX, Amazon, and Google, well, here's SPX, Amazon, and Google. In March, the rest of the month, we took four more winners. And then this is April. Here's April. We have one winner here, three winners here, one winner here, three winners here, one winner here, three winners here. So through the month of April, with all that volatility, we are 12 for 12. Okay, 12 for 12. We have not taken a loss since January 6th, and it was that one day. Okay, that's not bad for trading in this environment. Think about it. How have you done since January 26th? Okay, and, and the markets look to continue all of that. So what I can offer you today is a link to www.bctnow.com slash uh, credit, okay? And, oops. All right. And uh, that is the comprehensive 11 hour options workshop for $346. There is a one month platinum membership that renews at $97. That's $97 worth of value. And total is $443. So today guys, we're gonna offer this to you for $49 um, because there is a tremendous opportunity when markets are bouncing around uh, that the, um, you know, a lot of times these sideways markets will chop you up. You need to be able to have a foundation to your trading. And hopefully you can see that um, even in volatile markets, the opportunity to provide that consistent revenue stream is extremely important. So I really hope that you'll take advantage of it. Um, you can go to www.bctnow.com slash credit. Someone said um, the, the membership thing, it, that's how we get the trades out. We'll shoot out an email because every single trade that I do is an 11-hour option trade. I record a quick video. It's uh, easily accessible. It's about a minute, minute and a half long. So you can know all the strike prices that I'm taking. You can take it uh, yourself. Um, again, you can see there's a very big difference in, in value versus what we're offering. So I hope you take advantage of it because that is an extremely small amount um, 
to uh, to just get exposed to a very fundamental way to trade. That's income trading. If you need any help, there's our email and phone number. Let me see. Uh, it's an on-demand workshop. So the moment you pick it up, uh, you can watch it and you can actually trade 11-hour options with us tomorrow. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be some pretty good ones. There'll definitely be one in SPX. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's live. Yeah, you could get it and, and watch it in you know a couple of minutes from now. Any questions? Uh, you can have access to that training forever. Uh, what's the minimum account size to do these trades? Um, each spread is five hundred dollars. Uh, that's how much um, buying power you need. Um, and then uh, so uh, again, five hundred dollars. There, there, it's scalable. So you can do one spread. Um, you can do 10 spreads. You can do 100 spreads if you wanted. Yeah, I always recommend that you give it a try, paper trade it first, so you can get the operations correct. You can follow the checklist. You can get an understanding. You can kind of see the results of your trades and then work into one spread and then two and then and more as, as you need. Yeah, I have some traders doing as long as I have. They do it as well as me. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Any other questions? All right. Well, again, thank you very much for Traders Talk Live. I really appreciate the opportunity. Let us know at Basecamp Trading if there's anything we can do for you. We invite you to visit us anytime.